Mind Bloom is a mental health and well-being company that delivers guided psychedelic therapy in a supportive environment. The company opened its first location in New York City in March. With the pandemic crisis, the timing could not have been better. 18 months ago, I became a ketamine patient in a you know, clinical setting and saw that here's an opportunity to take this profound transformational medicine and help bring it to more people and increase access uh, to help people who need it most get the care that they need. And how are you uh, reacting to the current COVID crisis? Because we've been hearing that some doctors don't want to see patients in person right now. And with this particular situation, uh, because this virus is so frightening, I would think that your very patients are the ones that really need treatment the most right now, that, that there, maybe their anxiety levels have skyrocketed, or maybe if they weren't even an existing patient, that if they weren't one before, they are one now. How are you guys responding? You nailed it, Deb. Uh, we used to say that mental health care is the number one public health crisis in the United States, and that's no longer the case. Coronavirus is without a doubt the number one public health crisis in the United States. We're in a state of emergency. So the way that we've responded, uh, I'm really proud of our clinicians for really um, uh, feeling the call to service during this time, um, is we had already begun piloting uh, virtual and remote sessions to help increase access to treatment. So essentially, uh, like telepsychedelics. telepsychedelics. Um, and we had already done, um, through the platform, a couple hundred remote sessions for people who had started their journey in Mind Bloom's Nomad Center. Uh, and so now, uh, in response to coronavirus, uh, we are really excited to announce that our clinicians are treating 100% uh, uh, virtually, so uh, remote, enabled, and guided psychedelic therapy sessions with guided ketamine therapy uh, so that people can stay home and get the treatment that they need for their anxiety and depression you know, without having to come in to you know, keep both our clinicians and clients safe you know, in, these, in these tough times. And beyond the inpatient experience, MindBloom also has special software that you've created around the treatment process. Can you dig into that a little bit better? Is that, is that like follow-up software or what, how does this software relate to the treatment? Yeah, absolutely. So from day one, we set out to become a technology company uh, helping use technology to increase access to people and to help our clinicians improve outcomes um, to help people really get the most out of these treatments. Um, so you can kind of think of it as a, um, a uh, teletherapy meets uh, headspace platform designed specifically for psychedelic therapy where clients are able to do video consults and video uh, therapy to prepare and integrate their experiences with trained psychiatric clinicians and therapists. Uh, and the platform also helps people uh, with uh, guided psychedelic therapy content, uh, including like audio scapes with guided meditations and music for their uh, sessions uh, and journaling prompts and uh, other content to help them uh, really maximize uh, the experience. One of the things that I know you're planning to do is expand. So right now you mentioned you're in, in uh, Manhattan and you've got plans to go into other cities. What are those other cities and what, what are the goals here? We're already going to expand into states that have in the state of emergency dropped their uh, in-state uh, licensure requirements for physicians and clinicians to need a license in that state to practice. Uh, so that's an effort to respond to the coronavirus crisis by helping to increase access to behavioral health and mental health care treatments. Uh, and then we're going to continue to expand across the country over the next year or two um, you know, with both our clinic-based and um, remote-based approaches. And how are you funded? Because uh, you are a new company. Expansion is not cheap. And I was just curious, are you self-funded? Have you done a raise? What's, what has gotten you to this point? Mm -hmm. yeah, we're a, a venture-backed uh, healthcare technology company. We closed our first round of funding in the summer of last year um, to begin uh, treating our first cohort of clients through the platform and, and bringing clinicians on to do that treatment. Um, and so we've raised uh, funding from uh, some of the biggest investors in healthcare technology and psychedelic medicine 
So some of the same people who funded and backed ZocDoc and Hims and Oscar and Compass Pathways. Mindbloom is currently focused on ketamine, but as more psychedelic compounds are legalized, that will expand. Uh, we don't think of Mindbloom as either um, a ketamine therapy company nor even a psychedelic medicine company, uh, but as a next generation mental health and well-being platform who are helping to increase access to the most effective science-backed mental health and well-being treatments available. Um, today, based on the research, based on uh, my experience, based on the experience of our medical director, Dr. Casey Palios, who's a principal investigator on the MDMA clinical trials and was like an early pioneer in ketamine therapy research and practice, uh, we think that ketamine is the most effective science-backed treatment that is not readily or widely available to people. Um, so that's our focus today. But we are super excited based on you know, everything I just mentioned, plus the research for MDMA-assisted therapy, which is in phase three clinical trials, psilocybin-assisted therapy, which is in phase two clinical trials, both uh, breakthrough therapies um, designation by the FDA, as well as other non-psychedelic medicine treatments uh, that we think are uh, going to be really powerful to, to help people you know, with anxiety, depression, and other conditions that we begin you know, helping people with. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us, and good luck with that. And really, um, I think it's super that you're out there you know, helping people, um, helping them through this crisis, and helping them you know, so that they can be you know, a functioning adults. That's Dylan Bynum with Mind Bloom, and I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Marker Report.